What's up weirdos? I'm back in the garden and I want to talk a little bit about my greenhouse, uh, but before I do that I do want to wish all my weirdo American friends a happy Independence Day. It is a beautiful day. Hope you guys are all well. And uh, last night I actually just uh, hung out here in the garden and watched my neighbors shoot off a bunch of fireworks and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, uh, the greenhouse, uh, we had a little disaster, a little accident earlier in the week. Uh, we got a really bad storm and uh, a lot of heavy wind, a lot of heavy rain, and it buckled in the middle. And I want to show you guys what I did to fix it, but before I do that, I want to show you guys what happened to it. So I'm going to leave a picture in the video so you guys can see it. Okay, and so what I did to fix that issue uh, was put some cattle panel in here. And you can see it, it did some damage. You can see that's broken. All I did was I just zip tied cattle panel on here and it's going to help a little bit. It's just a temporary solution. It's a quick fix. Um, I think long term I'm probably going to have to get a new frame because this was a cheap frame. Uh, you know, you get what you pay for and I knew it was a cheap frame when I bought it. The one thing I didn't like was there was no uh, bar going across the top. And uh, you can see there's a bar over here and there's a bar over here. But there's nothing going across the very top, so that means rainwater can sag. And if you're not up here all the time to empty it, well, it's going to put too much pressure on the frame. It's going to buckle, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, so this is uh, just a little bit of reinforcement. I had four cattle panels, so I just put them in here. And that'll help at least get us through uh, this season, I guess. I, I don't know. Next season, I'm probably going to have to get a new frame. But uh, that is something you can do, and I definitely recommend if you're getting a, a um, just a regular greenhouse frame off of Amazon, make sure that it has some kind of metal rod going across the top, right down the middle. And if it doesn't, you got to reinforce it with something, guys. Maybe get uh, some cattle panel or something like it, just to, just to give it a little extra reinforcement, especially whenever you get that heavy rain. But anyway, uh, it didn't hurt my plants or anything. Plants are totally fine in here. They're looking good. And that's some uh, okra here in the back. And I also have some tomatoes in here as well. And they're doing pretty well. So uh, we'll see how long this greenhouse lasts. But uh, that's uh, just a quick little video on what you can do if your greenhouse buckles and uh, you have all kind of issues and it breaks. Uh, you can still salvage it. You can still save it. But it is going to take a little bit of work. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing this with two people. It was, a, it was pretty hard to do it by myself, lifting those cattle panels and getting them in place. But I was able to do it. So I will see you guys later. Goodbye.